What's up everyone? This is TalkGamer007 here and today this is the Nintendo Direct News Roundup. Don't forget if you like the video give it a thumbs up and let's get started! I will be covering the most important stuff, the things that I think it's interesting to the Nintendo Direct. So let's first talk about how cool that Nintendo get a, like throw away the 3DS in nine minutes. It was nine or ten minutes it took to finish the whole 3DS um, news for them. They released, they announced two new Ultra Beasts for Pokemon. They even announced a Minecraft 3D new 3DS. Let me say new 3DS version coming out today. Wow, that was a surprise direct announcement I never expected I remember seeing these people um, trying to port Minecraft like with these hat Minecrafts on the DS and all that stuff and now it's coming in the new 3DS well sad I don't have a new 3DS I only have original OG 3DS but it was it, it would have been interesting it's interesting for people that don't have a switch don't have the one of the best versions of Minecraft other than PC because PC got mods and all that stuff so it's more for the people that don't have that option so it's great to have Minecraft on the on the 3DS. And so let's move on to the exciting stuff. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 news. They had an amazing story roundup. Like everything explained this not explained, but giving us the, the gist of the story that we were missing. We didn't know that much of the story other than that E3 trailer and the first first trailer didn't even really explain much they only explained the gameplay and we know the gameplay but they gave a whole roundup of the story that we always wanted and they showed the gameplay the huge world amazing environments the different beasts it was amazing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 even had a release date I said I would hope it would come early November not early late November probably not not winter actually winter like after the 21st but actually early December or late November and they did with December 1st amazing right and that was amazing I after that man I hope that a lot of people buy the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 so we could get more Xenoblade games because uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X was a hit Xenoblade Chronicles it wasn't as marketed um, as well as X so I would love to make Xenoblade, I would love if Xenoblade was more a staple franchise for Nintendo. So this is like a third chance, right? Another chance to get that mil over 2 million, 3 million sales and hope that we get more Xenoblade games and the game look even more polished, look even more beautiful. It looks like it might be 900p 30 frames per second, but I don't know that. It's possible. So. We, we have to wait till the coming months when they reveal the, the resolution and frame rate but now we just speculating it looks more polished than E3 build so you can tell us a later build so let's move on to Splatoon 2 update is incoming that will release two well one weapon one new weapon it's like a splat brella but wider and it didn't really show it shooting anything but it's like a wide defensive mechanism or something it's a new uh, umbrella weapon and two new stages it's called like the help dome and the snapper canal those are the names and they said Kel the kelp dome is gonna be releasing this Saturday or Friday night that was interesting um the new Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC they did not really talk that much about it like I wanted them to do my and they, they just talked about the amiibo that's coming November 10th they said but I would love that they talked about the DLC, but I think that's everything that could they could say about the DLC. And where's the Mario Rabbids DLC? Uh, I expected because it's supposed to, one was supposed to come out this fall or it was winter. I don't remember, but that was amazing. Um, Skyrim is gonna be released in November 17th. Um, I heard something about Switch is gonna be able to run Vulcan, so. Bethesda also announced Doom is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yeah, and I Vulcan game they could even make that 1080p. I have, I have, I believe they they'll be able to run make that 1080p and at 60 frames per second at, on the Nintendo Switch because I know I have low end PCs that could run at max settings 1080p, right? 
at 60 frames per second with Vulcan on. So I believe it's going to be one of the best versions Dooms portably. And Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, is supposed to come out the same day as Mario Odyssey. Maybe that's why they're delaying it to 2018. But Doom have a release window of holiday 2017. And Wolfenstein, I just said 2018, we don't know when it's going to happen. And then this was the shaker. This was the thing that amazes me the most was Project Octopath Traveler, they said working title, was going to be released um, as a Switch exclusive. And the demo was going to be released later today. And they announced that it's going to be released in 2018. I thought that was, they were talking about the combat and stuff, so I really thought that they are going to release Project Octopath Traveler this year, maybe even October. But they, it's just going to be a demo. They're going to have a beta test uh, to give them feedback to improve on the game. And it's going to release 2018. We don't know if it's early, late, but 2018 in general. And this was a surprise from Square Enix as well. That Dragon Quest Builders 1 was also confirmed to come out spring 2018. But I thought that they're going to skip Builders 1 and move on to Builders 2 because it's coming up. But why would he build, bring Builders 1? Well, I don't know, but... It's confusing, I don't know why. Builders 2 look like a more refined game, have co-op and swimming and all those extra features. Why would you bring Builders 1 over 2? Oh, whatever. Square Enix thinks it's gonna sell, I think. I think I would buy Builders 2 over 1. But that's my opinion, I don't know about you guys. And they even announced um, Kirby, like the new Kirby game, they renamed it. They finally got the final name. For Kirby and it's called Kirby Star Allies and it'll be released in sub, um, not September, spring 2018 and the thing is that it was renamed and if we didn't see Yoshi that means Yoshi is gonna come later 2018 um, it's that's how it is maybe Kirby it's gonna be spring 2018 but I expect Yoshi to be more like summer but the weirdest thing is that Fire Emblem wasn't there why wasn't Fire Emblem there uh, that's the craziest thing. I really thought Fire Emblem would be in Nintendo Direct. It's gonna be released in like March or something. Unless they're gonna have another Nintendo Direct, like maybe January? I don't think they would blow up all the, those information, the information, and then release it. But we'll see. And then I thought they said the last game, and I thought it was Smash Bros., but I forgot. Oh, shoot. I forgot about Super Mario Odyssey. That was the thing. I said, oh yes, yeah, including Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. They they revealed new story details. Like the thing that they revealed with Cappy and Peach. They revealed that. So, that was interesting. Uh, we are already know I was going to get this game anyway. So, this just sweetened up the, the experience. Showing the new kingdoms. The ice. The snow kingdom. Uh, and the uh, Cappy Kingdom, I, I should say the Cat Kingdom, I don't remember the names on uh, top of my head, but they revealed like two new kingdoms, uh, no, 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 and the Seaside Kingdom as well, I wish that they have the Sunshine Kingdom in there, they able to do it, New Donk City is basically the original Mario Bros, like, not Mario Bros, uh, I think it's even, yeah, it is the original Mario Bros, and Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong, that's basically New Donk C City, Saving the mayor, right, from Donkey Kong, right? Maybe that's, it's gonna be time, maybe not, um, maybe Mario went to New Donk, Donk City, Pauline knew uh, Mario because Mario saved her from Donkey Kong or something like that. Donkey Kong could be in there. We don't know, so I'm just blurting out stuff. But this was an amazing direct. It's disappointing that Smash Bros. wasn't there, but it's okay. They have future places they to reveal it i i knew kind of that it won't happen because pokemon tournament is coming out and they wouldn't want to announce a smash game before pokemon tournament like the most consumer would say uh i don't want pokemon tournament make me save my money for a new smash game because i would i don't know i i not i don't know if i should get pokemon anymore like nintendo wants my money but i'm most likely gonna buy it. i'm gonna I'm gonna buy it anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying this, but but Smash Bros. If the Smash Bros. version was announced for the Nintendo Switch, I don't think I would have even bought Pokémon at all. Like Pokémon is that 
thing that we need that fighting game like is it, we need a fighting game that's not arms like a real fighting game that could play competitively like arms i could play arms competitively but it's not the same as smash bros or anything like that so it's kind of weird i wouldn't get poking over i wouldn't get poking over smash i should say so i would love if smash bros was announced but it wasn't like i just said but and the weirdest thing is that they didn't announce any major third party game that i expected really other than doom uh that's considered major because the game came out way long time ago or was it 2016 or uh, early 2016 that and wolfenstein 2 is kind of mm, big but it's delayed kind of compared to the the, the playstation 4 xbox one and pc version so I don't know if you would want uh, to play those. Maybe Nintendo fans don't have a PC, uh, don't have a PlayStation or Xbox. They will get that version eventually 2018, but we don't know when, but they said in the coming months. So it's possible that it's gonna be early 2018 as well. So we will see in the coming months where that stands. So. They even announced this, uh, when I thought it was Virtual Console, they announced this arcade bundle for the Nintendo Switch. So, it's a lot of things that was announced in the Direct. It, it was an okay Direct, it wasn't, we overhyped ourselves, but it was, it was there, it was good. It was a lot of surprises, or a couple surprises. That amazing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 story coverage. Oh my god, that excited me. I wish it was closer, but it's not. But I cannot wait for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That's the biggest game for me to come out. But we have we have more time to discuss this in the later VG bulletins in the future. So yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like videos like this one. This help expand my channel and share the video if you think you can form someone else. Comment below of your opinions of this today's Nintendo Direct. This is Top Gamer 007. And I see you in the next one. Peace.